Hey there, welcome back to Hughes Nursery and this device here in my hand is called a refractometer or also known as a bricks tester. Now if you are a viewer of Growing Your Greens you might have seen this. He made a video about 10 months ago from September, this September 10 months ago and uh, the video was where he had one of these and he was going around his garden testing the nutrient density and the quality, the sugar quality of his vegetables and fruits in his garden and that's what inspired me to ask for one for Christmas and now I have one and I can't wait to try it out in the garden. Now the garden we, we've been harvesting a lot of things it's that time of year uh, zucchinis, uh, lots of parsley, we've got beetroot, a Swiss chard, uh, turnips, all sorts of things really. Uh, tomatoes still, we're still waiting for them to ripen and they're green now, I'm just looking at them actually. But what I just want to do is to just test out three different things. Now I'm not expecting anything big. What there is, there's a scale from 4 to 10. And for, well, it, it sort of varies with uh, different vegetables. But generally speaking, like parsley, 4 is poor, 6 is average, 8 is good, and 10 is excellent. And I've got it actually on my uh, phone where there's a chart of all the different vegetables and fruits and then I can compare of what this shows when I look when I look through it it's got a chart of uh, 0 to 30 uh, the bricks chart and then what you do you put the juice of the fruit or vegetables on there you only need uh, one or two drops and I'll be showing you all this later on and then you close the lid press it down and then you look up into the sky or at a, at a light source, it's easier to see uh, than looking somewhere in a darker place, it's more clear. And there'll be either a line or a faded line of on the chart. And I got a picture on the chart of uh, on the screen right now. Also, a faded line is actually a bit better. Now, I remember hearing this, I'm not sure why. I'd, if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm, I might be lying or something. When I saw uh, one of the videos, if it's a faded line, apparently it's actually more, um, it's even higher quality. And I will be doing a bit of research on that and listing it a bit down in this description and explaining in some other video. So if it has a fading line, that's also something you need to look out for. So that's enough of me talking and it's time to test out some of the vegetables in the garden and I really don't care what they get because we haven't really focused that much on the soil quality and that's going to, I've got a massive plan of trials, testing biochar, rock dust, uh, compost, uh, compost tea and just normal soil, uh, block them all together on the bed, grow different things and then I can test, compare the five or four different grain mediums against each other to see which gives you the best nutrient density vegetables. So really excited to find that out and yeah, let's uh, give it a go then. Now the first thing I'm going to try is everyone's absolute favorite vegetable. It's the turnip. Now unfortunately, being a 15 year old teenager, you might find it quite hard to trust in what I'm saying and I perfectly understand that. But the bad thing about this is that if I hold it up to the camera lens, you can't actually see what it says. So you've got to put all your trust into a uh, British boy of what I say. And I think I'm saying the truth, but it's uh, all about honesty. So I've got a turnip. We uh, Dad's making some turnip uh, meal tonight. And yeah, like I said, everyone just loves the, fla the uh, flavor of turnip apart from me. Oh well, but I put three uh, spots in there, drops even, and I use a garlic press because it's really easy. If I want to try and just squeeze the juice out of the turnip, I might just be standing there all the time squeezing it. Garlic press makes life so much easier. So I got it on the uh, little blue screen here, and then I place, I place the uh, flap down, and then I'm gonna look at the sun. And there's a line on the six on the brick scale. So 
It's a line, it's not a faded line, but it's quite a good line. Now what I have on my phone, when I'll bring it up to you, I have a scale of what it is. Okay, so if I come up to you now, you can see that it says turnips right at the bottom. Four is poor, average, good, and excellent. So four is poor, six is average, eight is good. Somehow I connected to my uh, Wi Fi network here. Uh, and uh, 10 is excellent. So we got six, so six is average. That's all right, it's no surprise there, but pretty happy with that. And now let's uh, see what else we're gonna do. So what shall we do? I've got quite a few things. Um, do they have board beans? No, they don't. They don't have everything, but I'm sure I'll be able to look around and look uh, for a couple of things. So. I think I might try some beetroot now. We've now got a single raspberry in here and I have already squeezed it and pressed it out. Unfortunately, my camera didn't record that bit. So, here we go again. I close it. And I'm gonna look to the skies and see what we get. And I, I sort of think it's a bit of a waste of a raspberry because they're really, really nice. But Oh well, at least you can see what quality they are. And this one, I, I'm not sure what the scales are, but this one has an 11, and it also has a faded line. So 11 might be good or excellent. I'm not sure, it might be a bit higher with raspberries. And here we have it, raspberries. Okay, so actually poor is six. Average is 8, good is 12, and excellent will be 14. So we've got just under good. So I can just round that off to good. And um, The raspberries are good, but I think they taste delicious. They're so much nicer than shop brought raspberries. But what I want to do is to actually get to that excellent. And we have a stall up the top of the, of the, uh, of our driveway, and then we, if we do get excellent, we can actually sell the raspberries as uh, excellent raspberries and literally we're not lying. So that's quite interesting. I'm actually quite happy with these. And I'm, I think I'm just gonna uh, try one more thing, which is gonna be some parsley. Lastly is parsley. Lastly is parsley. So uh, poor is four, six is average, eight is excellent and 10. No, 8 is uh, good and 10 is excellent. So again, I'm going to use a garlic press, which I wash out and dry every time just to keep it a fair test and that no just water goes into it as well, which might dilute the solution. And again, I've uh, washed this. Ah. Okay, so we've got some nice green juice from the parsley. I'm going to close it. And you've got to trust me again with this. Sorry, guys. I'm going to look up. We've just got an eight. And it's sort of a semi-faded line. So we've got a good, and I'm pleased with that. Now, I'm very impressed with this refractometer. I've already learned how good some of the fruit and vegetables are doing in the garden and what this is definitely going to just make me do is to try and every year just beat the last year's score and try and grow the most nutritious vegetables ever. Also another thing is to compare it with shop brought fruit and vegetables and the bad thing about shop uh, produce and even from organic stores is that the farmers don't really grow for the quality and the nutrient quantity. It's more the volume and how big everything is. And bigger isn't always better. And I, th I, think, I think it's practice. Yeah, he, he made a video and you can go down uh, in the description and watch his video. Yeah, bigger isn't always better. If 
the farmers, what they should do is also try and increase their uh, nutrients as well, not just try and make the biggest watermelon or the biggest tomatoes, because the tomatoes in shops, in almost every shop I buy, are just garbage. The tomatoes that we grow at home are sweet, you can actually call it a fruit. Um, so yeah, it's all very interesting and I'm definitely going to recommend any one of you who have a garden to buy one of these. And you can just get them on Amazon, just so it's a refractometer bricks tester. And I had great fun with this and you'll see me and this again in some other videos. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please ask away. I'd love to know. And yeah, so see you again soon.